Hello there, Internet. Magua here, and I got another video for you guys today. Today, I'm going to play some Wilderness Reclamation to more... Stop! Before you dislike, stop. I am not playing Nexus of Fate. Okay? <laughs> Maybe that helps with your judgment. But let, bear with me. Like, take a look. Let's take a look at this deck, right? Uh, it's heavily inspired by a list that I saw on MTG Goldfish, though I did tweak it a little bit. Uh, with some main board and sideboard, you know, card options, right? But the idea is to have a Timor list that can be quite aggressive via Growth Chamber Guardians and also, you know, apply some pressure with Rising Brontodons. And so you can damage your opponent and you set up a kill with Expansion Explosion. It utilizes Wilderness Reclamation and uh, tries to capitalize on it with a bunch of instant spells and also flash creatures like Frilled Mystic to counter your opponent's plays while you're also applying pressure. What I like about this deck is that instead of trying to go for infinite loops with uh, Nexus of Fate, and, uh, you know, build up one kill, or like one shot kill, you actually can beat down your opponent with creatures while you are countering your opponent's plays, and you're basically capitalizing on the fact that you have much more mana available than your opponent. This also highlights one of the most powerful synergies right now uh, when you combine, you know, blue and green, and that is Wilderness Reclamation with Search for Escanta. If you flip Search for Escanta, and you have Wilderness Reclamation on the board, that is just absolutely disgusting. Like, the, the ability to... Uh, activate Escanta more than once a turn is just so busted. We have Blink of an Eye, which is really good in these sorts of decks because not only can you use this to uh, slow down the opponent and return one of the, your, their permanents to their hand, but it can also be used to bounce your own Frilled Mystic so you can counter spell again, potentially. It's a very, very flexible card. Of course, we run uh, Triple Hydroid Crashes as our late game bomb. With the Wilderness Reclamation, if we play Hydroid Crashes, especially because of all the ramp we have with Grow Spiral, we can draw a bunch of cards and then we can untap all that mana back and, you know, preserve it for card draw, counter spells, etc, etc. You know, all that degeneracy. I know this is quite a degenerate deck, but it's a fun deck to play. Uh, I don't, I haven't really played as much Wilderness Reclamation as I would like because this card has the stigma around it that, you know, everybody basically hates it. And I know that if I, uh, like, I'm, I'm not a Nexus of Fate guy. Like, I don't like the card. I think that strategy is boring, but I do think this enchantment is really interesting and... Uh, it kind of gets broken when combined with specific cards, right? Like, in this deck, I, I won't deny that Expansion Explosion with Wilderness Reclamation is very, very powerful. But at the same time, if it was really OP and busted, then we would see this deck list everywhere in high-level competitive play. And that's not really the case, right? So, it's just, uh, it feels really good to play, but it probably makes your opponent very miserable at the same time. Because Wilderness Reclamation has a, a way of prolonging a match because it doubles your mana. So, it makes you, you know tap more, play more cards, and thus uh, prolongs your turn significantly, right? We have a sideboard here, consisting of three Spell Pierce, one Disdainful Stroke, two Negates, three Lava Coils, four Fiery Cannonades, and th uh, two Thrashing Brontodons. Uh, Brontodons for more aggressive matchups and or uh, matchups like Nexus, where they have their own Wilderness Reclamation, or other matchups in which they rely on enchantments, right? Uh, very, very solid card in this meta. Four Fiery Cannonades for the Mono Blue, uh, the White Weenie uh, decks, etc., etc. Alongside Triple Lava Coil, also for aggressive decks. And then we have a bunch of counter spells for more mid-range and or control matchups right there. You can see me in, in a matchup against Drakes in the gameplay that I recorded, uh, not sideboard in Disdainful Stroke, and that was just kind of like a mental stroke in a way, so... <laughs> I guess it's meant to be because I should have done it because uh, it's a good match. It's a good card for that matchup, right? So that is the deck list right there. Uh, very fun to play, honestly. Very missable for the opponent. And I just want to showcase off this enchantment more. You know, I, I know a lot of people hate it, but it's it leads to very interesting gameplay. And it just... I, I like, uh, you're also gonna see me, like, derp trying to cast Explosion because I'm not experienced with this sort of card in MTG Arena. Like, I, because you have to tap the lands individually, and then you have to, like, resolve again, and, uh, yeah, you're, you're gonna see me derp big time. Like, <laughs> I'm not gonna spoil too much, but, yeah, you're, you're gonna witness my lack of experience with this card in the MTG Arena client. But, uh, yeah, hopefully you enjoy the games anyways. Have a solid day. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned for more daily MTG videos, and I shall stop rambling, as I've been at it, well, not that long, 4 minutes and 30 seconds, that's not that bad, I, I feared worse, maybe I'm getting better, maybe I'm going less on tangents, even though I'm going at one right now, so, I'm just gonna stop, thank you for watching, I love ya, hope you enjoy the games, and I'll see you tomorrow, alright, here we go, Explosion, what was the name of that anime? 
just realized. Um, I, I I can't recall. <laughs> God damn it! Wait, I'm, I'm actually gonna. I'm actually gonna Google that real quick. Cause I must know. Konosuba, Konosuba, yeah. I, I like that show. Uh, we are going to. Okay, so this is a, a hand filled with uh, check lands, which is obviously quite an issue, right? We that, we have double expansion explosion. Uh, I'll pronounce it probably explosion. <laughs> But we don't really have any early game plays. And the fact that we have all check lands kind of makes me want to mulligan this, actually. This doesn't really get much better. But at the same time, we do have a 2-drop. And we are going to draw into a check land. Which means that we will be able to curve out into Grow Chamber Guardian. And it's all going to be good. So we're going to lead off with the Surfer Falls, actually. And then we'll drop the Grow Chamber Guardian. As it seems, we are facing mono blue tempo. And as long as I don't see a turn one Cures Obsession, I'm you know, a happy panda. He may be searching for an island. No, he does, he does find it. OP deck is clearly OP. Well, we do have quite a bit of uh, stuff to add in against Mono Blue, especially uh, these four Fiery Cannonades. Very, very, very important. Uh, I'd say Lava Coils are also pretty key. But we have to be very wary what we sacrifice for it. So, I do like the Star of Extinction. I like the Hydroid Crassus. Grow Chamber Guardians are a little bit eh in this matchup. I think we're actually going to take them out. And maybe even the Thrashing Brontodon as well, and add in some Lava Coils. I think also uh, Spell Pierce could be quite interesting in this matchup as well. Could take out one Search for Scanta, even though Search for Scanta is very important for this combo. No, it's this sort of deck. Hmm. I definitely do want the uh, Spell Pierces though. But Lava Coils are also very important. Maybe Blink of an Eye. No, Blink of an Eye is also important. This is actually a bit of an issue. I think maybe a Chemist's Insight can go. Maybe even one Negeki. No. I'm going to take out a Search for Scantha. I want a couple of Spell Pierces. Not sure. Like, uh, I guess one blink of an eye can do it. But this is a bit of a predicament. Like, it's not easy to sideboard here because I, I want tempo, but at the same time, I want, you know, my original strategy to work out, right? So. I think the wilderness reclamations are quite important, but maybe they can be uh, they can become a little bit of a liability if our opponent is going to counterspell them all the time, you know. So we are uh, going to keep this in. We have a turn two lava coil potentially. We're going to lead out with the root, uh, root bound crag. Okay, so this is not mono blue tempo. It is Isaac Drake's. Well, that changes everything. The the fiery cannonades. I don't know why I assumed it was mono blue tempo. <laughs> okay, well, I'm gonna. Well, now I have like all the lands that I need, so I'm, I'm gonna slap in this. I no longer need to play uh, tapped check lands because I have a forest, which means I can check this. And I mean, these lava coils are most certainly, most definitely very good. We're gonna drop the surfer falls now. We're gonna lava coil. We're gonna leave that mana open for spell pierce, just in case. And uh, we're bound to set our uh, Wilderness Reclamation very soon. But of course, we need card draw for that. Alright, so I am most certainly... Gonna Lava Coil this. If he has a dive down, then I will uh, Spell Pierce. Easy peasy. The problem is now I have all the wilderness in the world, but I don't really have more steam. Oh boy. That is not something I can answer as of right now. Ooh, let's see what we got. Well, 
I can play these Wilderness Reclamation and have pretty much infinite mana, but... <laughs> I mean, I'm just one expansion explosion away from... Because I'm, I'm stacking up these uh, these Wilderness Reclamations, right? So, I'm, a, I'm an expansion explosion away from just being able to uh, go crazy on him. Though he could have a counter spell, so... We'll definitely be playing around uh, Spell Pierce. Okay, we're gonna be playing you. That's a total of one, two, three, four. We'll go five. Okay, we're gonna resolve that. We're gonna play the uh, growth spiral. Or call it a turn. He gets the uh, ultimate with Viceroy here. And it seems we may be dead. To be fair, our opponent conceded very early on, so. Ouch. It's hard to believe we won't... I mean, if we don't die this turn for some reason, then if we top deck an explosion, then we may just one-shot him. Like, we still have that hope. I mean, it's still a possibility. Alright, now, now, now we dead. <laughs> All right. So now we know what we're facing. We got tricked by that early concede, and uh, we d most definitely do not need these fiery cannonades. We do want that chemist's inside. We don't uh, want another one of those. We want to search for a scanta. We want the negates, and we want this. So we want all this stuff. So there's two cards extra. Well, obviously, you guys saw the lava coils there were extremely important. The frilled mystic is also very important. The star of extinction is very important. The hydroid crisis is very important. Everything is important here. Maybe I'm overdoing it a little bit with the spell pierces. I can drop down to two and to three negates. Maybe uh, honestly, like a growth spiral. Like I'd rather have these uh, these counter spells enabled. Yeah, let's go with this. Growth spiral is good, but all right, here we go. Round three. Hopefully, we get a good hand here. That is too much. That is too little. Maybe if we're lucky. Okay, that's... See, that makes me feel better. Because at least uh, it seems like I'm going to be able to curve out Search for Skinta unless my opponent leads off with a Spell Pierce. Which he does not. And this is very important. Because I desperately need to draw into lands here. Keep that there. All right, for now we're curving out, and we'll have the frilled mystics enabled soon. We'll keep that there. Yep. All right, frilled mystics are engaged, and it's a card that we have not shown our opponent as well. Okay. Let's send that to the graveyard as we continue on our quest to build up a good land base. All right. That's a good draw, but we have we have counter spells, so we we need to uh, feed our Ascanta here. We're going to keep that growth spiral for, you know, the end of the turn. He does find a land there. And call it a turn. All 
Right, we're just building up. I don't accept, expect him to have a... Uh, well, he could have a dis disdainful stroke, yeah. Well, that's that's a nuisance because if I had a if I had a land, I would have been able to deal with that. Let's think here for a second. Uh, we could honestly, we should just blink of an eye, should we? We could expand an explosion on this, but then we're vulnerable to a billion things. Well, what's the what's the best line to play here? Honestly, like I have to deal with these goblins for a little bit. Yeah, take the hit. And there we find it okay so one two three okay so if I pay if I pay for two here I can I can search with search for a scanta and then I can I can activate this I can also just expand the explosion but I'd rather do this so we're gonna pay two I'm gonna pay you 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 and you I'm gonna play wilderness reclamation and then we're going to proceed to a scanta we're gonna pick up uh, expansion explosion is obviously very good, but I think uh, star of extinction. I mean, expansion explosion is the key card here. All right, I, I gotta make sure I keep that there for next time. I'm gonna play uh, Frilled Mystic to counter here. My block there. And at the end of his turn, I'm going to Escanta. And search for that negate. Beautiful. Beautiful! And now we got a second wilderness uh, explosion, and we have this alongside on the gate. So we're gonna go boom, 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 boom. Okay, and now we're, we're gonna go for a powerful expansion explosion here. We have a total of one, two, three, four. All right, four, eight. So we have four, twelve. 20. We have 20 mana here to work with. Okay. Alright, so now we're going to tap. Okay, so that's 8, 16, that's 12. Wait, what? Oh, I didn't, I, I, I fucked up. I fucked up. I fucked up. I, I I didn't tap enough red mana. <laughs> I'm not. I'm I'm new with this sort of. Oh my god. Okay. Oh, 
All right. Okay, let's try again, shall we? <laughs> Jesus Christ. Okay. Now we should have. I mean, we should have him because even if he has that, we we negate. Okay, let, let, let's just kill him. Let's uh, slap it here and let's let's go for it soon. Okay, boom. Okay, before the end of a turn, we tap, we tap, we tap, we tap for red always, Miguel, you dummy. Always tap for red. Always tap for red. And let's do this before the time runs out. Okay, resolve. Let's tap for it again. Again, 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 again. Again, and again. Resolve. Okay, so we want to have two negates enabled. Which means this should be enough. <laughs> okay, just, I wasn't even counting there. And now, we have a uh, 19, I mean, we have a, uh, okay, 11 plus 8, math, 19, 23. Okay. <laughs> Smooth! Smooth. I don't, I, what, I, what, what happened there is that I required two uh, red mana to proc that. And I kept tapping the land for green mana, I think, because I'm an idiot. <laughs> it's as simple as that. <laughs> Alright, Darkly7. <laughs> Hopefully I'll be... You're more fluid with my explosion gameplay. This time around. Um, we're after mulligan this. Believe it or not, this is sort of a mid-range deck. I mean, not really, but yeah, we, we kind of, we win with creatures as well. So, it's just that that matchup, uh, because he has so many flyers, we got these guys away. But we're going to mulligan this hand. Uh, this is slightly better, because at least we can play Ghost Dreamer Guardian. And uh, we have a Growth Spiral there. I'm just going to drop this, because I, I don't have, uh, if I had a lot of lands, then that card would be good. But otherwise, it's, it serves no purpose if I can scry it away. Because it just kind of like replaces itself anyways. Alright, so I see Gruel colors. We're going to drop the Grow Chamber Guardian. We do have Negate enabled next turn, potentially. Hopefully I can draw... Oh. Okay. I'm going to attack. I'm going to smack him. And I'm going to call that a turn. I want to have the Negate enabled. But I also want to have the Grow Spiral enabled. So we'll wait till the end of his turn. And then we'll Grow Spiral. We don't draw into a land, I cry every time, but then again, our opponent also kind of, uh, you know. I'm going to be aggressive. Even though I, I lose my negate proc, I think that's fine. It's better to just keep the aggression going. And it seems our opponent got uh, mana screwed. I mean, it's not like we had a bunch of mana ourselves, but at least we had early game play. So I see that um, plaza, and I assume that my opponent is playing some sort of gate deck. So we want to slap in the counters for that. Um, I think we took out the Star of Extinction for this matchup. Um, what else? What else? What else? Maybe a one-off of Hydroid Crassus. I do like the Brontodons, though, because if he is running... Yeah, Brontodons are pretty good. But I also like the Spell Pierces. I haven't seen much of his deck, though, so I, I think I think we're going to keep it like this for now. Just Because I do like the Growth Chamber Guardian aggression. We're going to scout out a little bit more. I'm, I'm going to do these minor tweaks because, uh, you know, I'd rather have some... Like, I know Spell Pierces will put in the work in this matchup. Like, I know that. But I don't know enough about my opponent's deck. To really go on from there, right? I'm going to... Am I going to keep this hand? Nah, I'm not. Alright. I mean, slow hand here, but at least we know that we will be able to curve out properly. We are going to lead off with the stomping ground. As we do have the Hinterland Harbor enabled, so we can drop this. Enabling our blink of an eye. Yeah, he's definitely some sort of uh he's definitely Geats, obviously. 
That's a good draw right there. Let's drop a steam vent, shall we? Our opponent's uh, been able to ramp here. I will keep that. And I will enable my chemist's insight. Okay. Well, that's a spooky goat. I could always blink of an eye here, but I'd rather go for the chemist's insight. And I'll keep that there. Get the Wilderness Reclamation in there. We can take a hit from this for now. I will spell pierce that. We'll call that a turn. We'll set to the graveyard. I don't dislike that one bit. Grow Chamber Guardian seems like a bit of a liability at this point. Like, I'd rather use it as, as bait for uh, will, uh, Chemist's Insight. So I'm going to play my second uh, Wilderness Reclamation. I'm actually going to... Uh, Do this now. And call it a turn. Slow him down. Thin through my deck. Should definitely uh, slap in that um, Death Star of Extinction again. All right. We're going to let that happen because we're, we're nice people. And now we're going to Chemistry's Insight. We're going to discard the Stomping Ground. And get in more Wilderness in there. I will keep... I mean, I have seven, right? Yeah. I will keep that there. Transform. And, like, the thing about Wilderness Reclamation is once you transform as Kanta, yeah, it's just... I mean, he probably thought I was Nexus. That's one of the things. That's one of the problems with this deck. Like, I'm going to get a lot of early concedes because people think I'm playing Nexus. But at that point, there was no way I lost the game. Like, I just played the Hydra Craxes. I draw my cards and... I just kill him with Expansion Explosion. I keep a negate up at all times. Like, when I go for the explosion, I keep the negate up, and then I just fucking smack him. Uh, this deck seems pretty solid, honestly. Uh, it's it's vulnerable to quicker decks, but uh, I like the fact that it has, like, early game plays as well. Like, it has Thrashy Brontodons, and it has a sideboard with more Brontodons, so uh, basically, I can slow down uh, opposing threats and I can apply pressure I can deal damage so that I have to spend less mana on my expansion explosion would this deck be better with Nexus of Fate I don't know probably <laughs> to be completely honest with you but it's a different approach and I really do want to showcase off the power of Wilderness Reclamation outside of uh, Nexus of Fate decks because this card is not as you know I mean it's pretty crazy as a card right but you know, you've seen high-level tournaments happening, and it's not like all decks are running this card, right? Like, there's some Simic Nexus builds around, but it's not as OP as we all kind of feared at first. It's kind of like the interaction with Nexus of Fate that makes this card really nasty. But also the interaction 
with expansion explosion, right? Like it's specific interactions that, that makes it really wild. But I think the big, the strong synergy that makes an opponent want to quit is, you know, when you have Wilderness and Escanta flipped at the same time. That's just absolutely nutty. And I'm going to go ahead and end the uh, video right here. Not the most uh, diverse set of games, I know. Uh, you know, like I said, I'm I'm keeping, you know, oh, that kind of ranked up a little bit, or like decayed a little bit because I was like 88. But I mean, it happens. I didn't play since, since yesterday. But like I said, I'm trying to rank up with decks that I'm comfortable with. Uh, obviously, like I lack experience with this. So until, you know, the season ends and I try to make it a top eight, uh, I got to be mindful with what I play in Mythic. You know, though, from that point onwards, you can definitely expect me to just exclusively pay, uh, play my decks in the Mythic rank so I can showcase it off. Uh, because in, in ranked matches, people are less... You know inclined to forfeit because there is rank on the line right so i understand that makes for better videos and you know you can look forward to that but just bear with me for a little bit as i showcase off some jant decks and casual for the time being and i just hope you enjoyed this video regardless you know there was no nexus of fate so you don't need to hate there and it just makes you realize just how powerful wilderness reclamation can be and honestly it's very fun to play with frilled mystics you know it's not fun on the receiving end but I don't know. I, I get some joy out of it. Maybe I am somewhat of a degenerate myself. So, yeah. Thank you guys for watching. Have a soul day. Hope you enjoyed the video. Stay tuned for daily MTG content. I fucking love you. I'll see you tomorrow with more.